Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Mr. Rain is waking up, so I am hurrying up and trying to finish getting ready for the day. So I think this video is actually gonna be a few days in one. I wanna do that, so we're gonna do today, which is Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. I think I wanna do three days in a row and see how you guys like it, see how it feels. So I am officially in my two week wait. <sighs> It's just so funny, you like have all that energy leading up to ovulation and getting a positive ovulation test and then the days go and now it's just time to wait for two weeks. <laughs> But I'm definitely keeping a eye out for all my symptoms this week. If you guys don't know, my most popular video on my channel has over 100,000 views. I think it's like 120,000 plus. I don't even know at this point. And it is my two week wait symptoms video. So during this time, I always make it a point to see what my symptoms are each day from, from one DPO all the way until I possibly get pregnant. It's definitely a time of waiting and seeing and recording. And so if I do get pregnant this cycle, I can share it with you guys because I know how hard it is waiting in the two week wait. It's like you start binging all the YouTube videos and I do the exact same thing because it's such a long time to wait to see if you're actually going to be pregnant this cycle. And I'm still really wanting to organize. I actually wanna organize and clean kind of like my kitchen area. I wanna go through my fridge, clean that thing out. It's like kind of empty though. I need to do a little grocery shopping today, so I'll share a grocery haul. And then I actually wanna go through my pantry. I need to go through like my medicine cabinet because a lot of it's expired on Saturday, which I'll include in this vlog. Cody and I are gonna go to Costco probably. We're gonna share that in this vlog. And then tomorrow I gotta drive three hours to take Parker to see his dad for another couple weeks before school starts and that's another thing school starting i gotta get everly clothes i gotta get parker clothes everly starting pre-k which i literally could cry to think that she's going to school i know i'm gonna cry on the first day i'm actually gonna order her backpack today I was kind of looking around to see where I wanted to get her a backpack and honestly backpacks are getting more and more expensive even from Target so I'm actually just gonna get her at Pottery Barn one they embroider the name right on it which I love I was like you know what like I could obviously just pick out what I think is cute but I want her to pick out so we're gonna have her pick that out if you guys watched my last vlog I was talking about my coffee cups that I bought on Amazon I got some new ones they're supposed to be here today so hopefully those turn out good so I'm actually trying to debate if I want to just do like a delivery delivery grocery or go in person, I probably should do a delivery because lately every time I take Rain and Everly into the grocery store, Rain literally has a, a meltdown. Like he does not like to sit in the cart and it's so hard. Part of me wants to get out of the house, go do a little grocery shopping, like get out of the damn house. But then another part of me is like, girl, don't because you're gonna be so stressed. You're gonna be rushed. It's not gonna be enjoyable. And so I'm probably just gonna get some things delivered. One of you guys was saying in the comments like, oh, you're on a roll filming and yes, Yes, I am, girl. And it's because I'm just excited about this period of life right now. I go through phases when it comes to just sharing my life in general where I'm like really like excited and wanna share and I'm very like extroverted and all these things. And then I have moments where I'm like inward, internal, don't wanna talk to anyone, don't wanna go anywhere, just wanna stay home. That's like the nature of being a cancer. And especially because I have my son, my cancer son in the 12th house, which is like super, super private as it is. Plus cancer is a private sign. So I definitely go through my waves, but I'm also a Leo rising. I have a Leo stellium also in my first house, which Leo is like the exact opposite of cancer. It's outward, it's showy, it's attention. So it's like a very paradoxical thing for me to have these two placements in my astrology. If you don't know anything about astrology, I'm sorry, just <laughs> skip ahead. But I try to embrace both aspects of myself, the private side, and then also the more like outgoing side. So if you're a Leo, if you're a cancer, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. But when I have the motivation and the energy to share and film and edit, and it's like very fun, it's very flowy I take advantage of it and then when it starts to feel a little like ugh resistant. I don't really want to share. I want to be more internal. I also listen to that. So that's why I kind of go through these phases and I go through these ups and downs. It's honoring whatever phase I'm in. So you may see a lot of videos all of a sudden. You may see them kind of go down. You may see me hide. You may see me run. You may see me show myself. Like this is just how I am and I share that with you guys and yeah, that's what happens when you share everything. It's a little messy. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind. We're gonna go ahead and go to Trader Joe's. I need to get out of the house and I really, really need eucalyptus for my shower because it's just, it's a vibe and I need it. <laughs> and I promised Everly that she could use the little baby cart the next time we go in. L Lord help us, like, I'm nervous. We're gonna try, we're gonna try it, okay? This is mom life. Gotta get used to it, right? <laughs> So my 
pantry isn't too bad. I'm gonna get some snacks. I shared this on Instagram, how freaking cute. first rain loves the freeze-dried fruit I got some more cacao powder because I want to start baking more with the kids Everly picked out these cliff bars for her and rain I got two fruit pouches for rain I got two different organic pastas I got a bunch of go macro bars these are so so good wish I had tried them sooner but rain and I both love these we're the only two that like them every single time we go I let Everly get an orange juice I normally let her get the big one but we're trying to limit sugar so got her the little one this time Everly also picked out these little drinkable yogurt smoothies mr. rain is dairy free so I got him the cashew what are they cashew yogurt I saw that they had their own overnight oats so I got this one which is vanilla and then an almond butter and chia Rain really likes the mush brand, so I'm sure he'll like these too. I got a couple of frozen things. I got the chicken fried rice. I got this for rain. I got two bags of frozen french fries. These are just good to have on hand. I got these. I've never seen these before, but I love little pot stickers and dumplings to have for like lunch, so we'll try those. I got some cucumbers. You can't really see them because they're cold for the kids. They both just love to snack on these. I got my favorite salad. I love this salad. It has apples, walnuts, grapes. It's so good. Just try it first before you judge. I got two sandwiches for Cody for lunches. I don't normally buy this, but Everly's been begging for mac and cheese lately. So I got her two different ones here. And the last thing I just got some hard boiled eggs for myself and maybe Rain. Rain doesn't really love eggs. So I thought maybe this version to, to try. So that's it. Now it's time to put it all away. Just kidding. I also got four bundles of eucalyptus. I love putting this in my shower. So I do two bundles in the kids, two bundles in ours and it smells so good. been a day honestly I wasn't even gonna film anymore but I figured I would just to like fill you in on the kind of day that I've had now my day was pretty good and then it just started to get more and more chaotic just having all the kids home for summer it just gets really overwhelming I think for all of us we're all in like the same room for hours and hours and it's just a lot and it started to get a little overstimulating I think for everybody in the house if you could only imagine it's nice and calm right now and we actually baked some fun Fetty cupcakes and I have been noticing when I bake with the two, two older kids, they love it and then they just disappear like every time. Like I think they love that like one-on-one -on -one time being creative and doing something even if it's like 15, 20 minutes and then they will just leave and go to their rooms and have like independent time. I didn't even like ask them to or tell them to, they just left. So maybe if you feel like you're going through this too, just try to do like a 15, 20, even 30 minute like little time slot of doing something with your kids and then watch them most likely be totally fulfilled and then stop being crazy. <laughs> with that being said, it's nice and calm now. Got my hair. I need to wash my hair so badly. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow, which is Friday. Good morning. It's Friday morning. It's 8.30. I told Rain, let's go eat. And normally he'll come to his high chair and he just came over here and sat down at the table. So cute. He's having that coconut yogurt. Oh, it's not coconut. It's cashew yogurt <laughs> from Trader Joe's. No, no. He seems to really like the cashew yogurt more than the coconut, or maybe he's just tired of coconut. Um, but I add a little bit of chia seeds to it and he really, really likes it. So I'm actually going to be leaving here in like an hour to take Parker um, to his dad. So I'm going to be driving for a little bit today. And then when I get back, I plan on washing my hair, self tanning. And I'm not really sure what else we're going to do today. Cody took the day off, which is nice. We're going to do Costco tomorrow, which will be a part of this vlog, like I mentioned yesterday. So we'll see what else happens in today. Good morning, everyone. It is now Saturday. I know I said that like each day was going to be all these things, but it switched. So yesterday we actually went to Costco um, and I didn't film any of it because it was such a long day after driving for three hours and then we went to Costco I just didn't want to film so I'm sorry Costco haul is not going to be in this vlog which I always hear people say grocery hauls are boring so if they're boring like let me know because I will never share one again <laughs> my hair is still 
effing greasy. Like I need to wash it so bad today. I need a self tan. So we ended up doing Costco yesterday and then today is Saturday. So now I need to wash my hair and self tan, which that will definitely be in this video. So sorry for saying it's gonna be in the video and then it's, this is, this is like the thing. <laughs> so I'm filming over a few days and things change obviously. And like filming and just all that, like you have to understand sometimes it's hard and sometimes it's just not the time to film, if you know what I mean. So yeah, sorry it's been all over the place. I probably won't do this again, <laughs> but it's 7, 16 right now in the morning. I've been up for about an hour. I'm gonna get Rain up, you can hear him I'm starting to wake up also. And yeah, I think we're just kind of having a chill day. I ever showed the curtains they look so good these are really nice they are like $20 I think for a set of two which is really good I love sheer curtains in like an area like this so it's private but it still lets a lot of light in I love the way it looks definitely makes it look more finished in here are you hungry I'm gonna have them try the Trader Joe's overnight oats this is the vanilla flavor Rain really isn't the biggest eater, so I got these little cups from Target. They're just like little ramekin plastic cups. That way he doesn't break one. And I just add a little to this instead because if I just give him the whole container, he'll throw it on the floor. I'm also gonna put a little apple juice in his water because Rain has like stomach issues. He really, I don't know, the whole like milk thing, just it's a problem for us still. Um, so he needs a little juice today. Never really has juice, but his stomach's bothering him, so today's his lucky day. So I finally got my Amazon cups. This is the one. It came in a pack of six and it has like little bamboo lids. It came with metal straws and like plastic straws too. I just like them because they're nice and big. They are like a mason jar style. Um, I really like them and they were a really good price for a, a set of six. I'll link them down below. They are from Amazon. All right guys, so it's now 9.45. I just got my tan on. I know a lot of people like to put their tan on and go to bed. My sheets are expensive and I'm not trying to get them dirty. So it's 9.45. I'll probably keep this on as long as possible. I still haven't washed my hair because once I get in the shower and I wash the tan off, then I will wash my hair. So this is the self tan that I use. It's so, so good. I have the mitt also. You definitely need to buy the mitt. And I also have their face tan, which last time I tanned, I used this on my face. Never again. It looked so unnatural. I forgot to tan my lips. It just, it looked really bad. So this is actually the same thing, except it's like diluted with lotion and it looks more natural. I know a lot of people will just not self tan their face and they'll just do it up to their neck and then put makeup on. That's a no too. There's lots of days where I don't wear makeup and I don't want a white face and a tan body that just doesn't look right. And another trick, if you've never self tanned or you find yourself running into this issue, get a cheap little powder brush. This one is from e.l.f. And I basically use this on my hands and on my knees, um, on my feet, and I do all those spots last. So I don't tan my hands or my feet or my knees while I'm doing my whole body. I go back at the very end and I brush it all on with a brush and it works a lot better. So now it's time to just be a sticky brown greasy mess for half the day. All right, I am all out of the shower and ready to, hold on a second. Okay, out of the shower, I washed off my tan. I left it on for like three hours. I really could use like a lot more time with it, but it's fine. So I don't think I shared here, but I got a new hairbrush and you're probably like, okay, who cares? When you invest in like a nice quality hairbrush, you realize like how amazing it is and you cannot go back. And I got this one from Day at Sephora and it is so good. I was really hoping it was as good as my Sephora one and it is, I love it. Cody is outside doing an oil change on my car. Rain's starting to wake up from his nap. So I'm gonna hurry up and try and blow dry my hair and style it before he's ready to get up. I have like the world's most straightest, tangliest hair in this brush. Literally, just right through it, so good. I love 
freshly blow dried hair. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. All right, so now that I'm all done with that, honestly, it's one o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Rain's still sleeping. Everly is outside with Cody. And I just want to lay in my bed. I never ever get to just like lay in my bed midday and that's what I feel like doing right now so today is actually for DPO and I feel like the last couple days I just want to like do nothing I feel tired <laughs> I had a really long week so now that the weekend's here I literally just want to like snuggle in my bed and watch Netflix and Hulu and just watch shows and I haven't even been on my phone really so I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow which is Sunday so I want it to be like a full day in the life I don't really think I liked this whole three-day thing because it felt very like scattered and chaotic so sorry if this vlog was all over the place um, I probably won't do that again <laughs> just because plans change so often and yeah I don't know sorry if it was a little obnoxious <laughs> but I want to say thank you so much if you're still watching till the end of the video you know who you are and I love you um, don't forget to give the video a, a thumbs up <laughs> I'm like ha, thumbs up uh, okay I hope you guys enjoyed today's video again thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next one